Hey everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell and today I'm going to give you a quick tip on um, how to create this floating frame effect in Photoshop. It's a real nice touch for your images when you want to present them online. And so we're going to take this photo and we're going to turn it into this where we've got the nice little border and a floating frame on a white background. And to do this, all you need to use is Adobe Photoshop. And if you subscribe to Lightroom and you have the Lightroom Classic uh, CC collection, then you've also got a copy of Photoshop, uh, the latest version of which is 2019. So let's go in and look at how we do that in Photoshop. So I'll start with my image in Lightroom. And from the Lightroom library or the develop module, it doesn't matter, we're going we're gonna to open our image in Adobe Photoshop. Now, to do that, I'm going to right click on the image, choose Edit In, and choose Edit In Adobe Photoshop CC. In this case, it's 2019. If your image is in RAW format, it's just going to go straight to Photoshop. It's going to rasterize the file. If it's not in RAW format, as this one is in already in Photoshop format, you're going to get this little dialog box. You can edit the original PSD file, a copy, a duplicate PSD file, or a copy with Lightroom adjustments. I'm going to choose edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. That's going to give me a flattened file in a single layer. So I click edit, and then it's going to go to Photoshop. Okay, here's my photo in Photoshop, and real simple steps to do this. In fact, you can even record an action for this later on if you wanted to. So what I'm going to do is my image is, I want to make sure my layers panel is open, so I'm down here at the bottom right hand side of the screen, and I'm going to click on the background layer, right click on background, and I'm going to turn it into a layer. So I'm going to say layer from background and it's going to give it a name layer 0 that's fine click OK and now I'm going to go to the image menu up at the top of the screen and choose canvas size and what I want to do is I want to extend the edges of the canvas in a very simple way so I'm going to change it from inches to percent and I'm going to make sure the checkbox that's marked relative is is checked so I'm going to do a 5% width and a 5% height that's going to expand it relative to the image on all sides and click OK. And there you have it. We've got a nice transparent area now. This is the, the background. The next step is to add any of the drop shadow or border effects that you want to do. So to that we're going to go to the layer menu and Back, make sure your layer is selected and in the bottom of the layers panel you'll find the little layer of uh, effects the FX button here click that and I'm gonna choose drop shadow and it comes up with the layer style all you need to do here now is change a few parameters the first one is the angle do you want the shadow on the left side I like my shadow kind of on the right side somewhere in there and then you can adjust the distance how far the shadow falls from your image the spread which is how much it uh, bleeds out or how much it's sharpened and the size of the shadow it softens it up so I'll do a nice soft edge shadow and before I'm done I'm going to also come up here to the left side on the styles panel I'm going to check click stroke make sure it's checked and I'm gonna put a small border maybe three to five pixels depending on the size of your image and you can choose the color if you want here and then when you're all done you click OK at this point you can see here I've got my drop shadow you can either save this as a layered effect add a, a layer beneath it or a different color I'm just gonna go ahead and say layer flatten the image now it's flattened. Click Save. And when I turn, return back to Lightroom, here's my image with the nice drop shadow. I can then use Lightroom to export this using uh, the export menu, JPEGs, or wherever, so I can send it and post it online. So that's your quick tip for today. Thanks again. I'm Jason O'Dell, and check me out at www.luminescentphoto.com. Thanks a bunch.